Alrighty, another day, another Emax video. We have not been speaking about the kill ring at all. Now, before we even uh, start, Emax has a different way of dealing with copying and pasting. Okay? Um, doesn't really have. Okay, this might sound a little bit odd, but it doesn't really have a copy function. I mean, it does, but it technically just cuts text and then pastes it back because it's then saved onto the kill ring. What is the kill ring though? Um, unlike many other text editors that kind of depend on the system clipboard, Emacs has its own, much like Vim for instance. Vim also has a uh, built in kill ring like stuff. It's not called kill ring, but it's going to do. Let me demonstrate to you what the curring is. Um, let's make some lines. And I'm going to go and, you know, go to the end of them. Go to the end of the line, just copy it. Um, why not? I'm going to just copy a few lines. Now they are all saved in the curring. The last one I copied was the first one, right? Line one. So if I go somewhere else and do control Y, line 1 pops up. And it's great. Um, it's great that it works. But before I copied line 1, I have also copied other things. Why are they not there? How do I reach them? Now you can uh, hit meta Y to cycle through the things that you have uh, killed. It sounds a bit, you know, grim, but this is precisely what it is. Meta Y does very much this. And I forgot screen key again. Hooray, I'm not used to using this. Anyways, yeah, Meta Y, it just scrolls through all of them. That's, that's it. Okay, you can access items that you have copied or cut earlier, which is great. It's just great. Now I am happy to report that I have found a package that makes this easier. Because when I saw this for the first time and started using the kill ring actively, um, I was, you know, I was thinking to myself, that's kind of good. That's really, really useful. And I realized that occasionally I was wondering, you know, like I would kill something. Um, say six hours ago and hitting meta Y for like 15 minutes to get you know to reach exactly what I killed not a good idea I'm not a big fan of this so let me present to you something better there is I mean you know this is Emacs there is an alternative to everything and especially this one I am using my own configuration now we are on my own config it's very similar to what we have created, with the difference it has like line numbering, which is something I'm going to show you. But let me go to my own config. And actually I won't edit the configuration file directly. I'm going to do this as a scratch buffer, and if you like this behavior, you just have to put exactly what I'm going to do uh, into, into your config file. I need to think about doing this, but you know, I'll, I'll figure it out. The package is called pop-up kill ring. That's it. So use package pop-up kill ring. Let's make sure it's installed and all you have to do is bind it. I'm going to bind it to uh, meta y so I don't have to cycle as much. And you just have to bind it to exactly pop-up kill ring. That's it. There, there is nothing else to do. It's very simple. And once it's Oh, okay, we've got it already. Sweet. Now we had all these lines copied. Now when we go and hit um, Meta Y now, we get this nice little menu that you can navigate using Control N and P. You can navigate through everything you've killed. That's really, really useful. You just hit Enter whenever you uh, found something or, um, you know, Control M. By the way, Control M has the same functionality that Enter has in Emacs. 
I am genuinely not sure if I've ever mentioned this. Control M does the same thing that Enter does. Oops. Alright, that's the kill ring. And that's that's all I want to show you. Uh, it's actually kind of, you know, it's one of those things that are important. Because you, you cut, you copy and paste all the time. This really makes your life easier. And I'm going to try to integrate this package to my own workflow. Yeah, I think it's awesome. Especially because, you know, I do this a lot. And you can find, like, stuff you have copied hours ago. It's especially good because I use EXWM on my laptop. So, you know, I copied a link a few hours ago. I can still find it with pop-up kill ring. It's pretty good. But that's all I really want to show you. Um, thank you very much for watching. And... Go watch my uh, org mode videos. <laughs> my org mode videos, I have a lot to do on my org mode videos. There's a lot of ground we have to cover. But I think we can do it. You know, org mode is not very difficult. It's not meant to be difficult, it's meant to be easy. And yeah, I, I guess I'll install this package to my org mode configuration. Because this, this might actually be really useful. Anyways, enough rambling. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.